Here we're given the first four terms of a sequence and we're asked to find the 60th term. So let's take a closer look at the sequence. Remember, each of these are called a term. This is our first term, so we call it when n is 1. This is the second term, the third term, and the fourth term. What if we wanted to find the fifth term? And the sixth term? And the seventh term? How do we do that? So let's look and see what are we doing to get from the first term to the second term to the third term to the fourth term. What, what pattern do you see here? Yeah, we're adding four each time. So to find the fifth term, we just add four again. You see it's 52. To find the sixth term, we add four again. And so on. We just keep adding four. So what if we didn't want to keep adding 4 and 4 and 4 and 4 until we get to the 60th term? We need to take a closer look at what is happening. So if we zero in on the fifth term, so when n is 5, what if we didn't know that this was 48 and this is 44? Like we don't need to know, let's just kind of erase this right here. What if we just knew that the first term was 36 and that we were adding four each time. Could we have found the fifth term? How many times did we add four to get to the fifth term? One, two, three, four. So to find the fifth term, we added four four times, one less than five. To get the sixth term, how many times did we add four? Five times, one less than six. To find the seventh term, how many times did we add four? Six times, one less than seven. So we can always just take our first number and add four how many times? One less than whatever number term we're trying to find. So if we're trying to find the fifth term, if n is five, we're gonna add four four times, one less than five. So this is the formula, I think. Let's test it out. Let's use it to see if we can get 52 as our fifth term. So we're gonna substitute 52 in for n, or we're gonna substitute five in for n and see if the answer is 52. Yep, that worked. So let's try it for the sixth term. Let's see if we put six in for n, if we can get 56. Yep, that works as well. So pretty confident that this is our formula. So now that we have figured that out by just kind of taking a closer look and analyzing our sequence and how to get the next term, we can now substitute 60 in for n and see what the 60th term is. And we see that the 60th term is 272.